Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert will be discussing about introduction to GitOps. So let's get into the video. And we talk about uh, GitOps. Okay, so GitOps, uh, right? Um, now the most common buzzwords that you use is uh, GitOps. Um, so GitOps basically uh, is an operational framework um, uh, that takes DevOps best practices used for application deployment such as you know uh, version control system collaboration compliance and CAC and pipelines and applies them to the infrastructure automation okay so till now you have seen application deployments right how you can speed up the application deployment how you can do integration testing right but that's all one portion the second portion is how you can apply this to infrastructure infrastructure automation like you wanted to scale up your infrastructure scale on your infrastructure and all those stuff so therein the gitops come into picture so the gitops not only focuses on application deployment not only focuses on automating application deployment it also focuses on automating the underlying infrastructure whether it is kubernetes or openshift or vma tanzu or whatever is the uh, you know uh, the uh, underlying platform okay now so gitops is an operating model for kubernetes and other cloud native technologies whether it is kubernetes or any other cloud native technolo technology you can use gitops okay it provides a set of best practices that unify uh, the deployment management and monitoring for clustered uh, cust um, containerized clusters and application so if you if you recall right gitops is a best practices where you can use or where, which you can use or automate uh, the deployment of an application as well as your cluster containerized clusters as well okay so it is a path towards a developer experience for managing the applications where end to end ci cd pipeline is built okay so gitops uses the ci cd pipelines uh, to deploy the uh, application end to end where it automates both the application deployment and the infrastructure automations like you know automating your kubernetes tasks deploying your applications on kubernetes scaling up your kubernetes all those things will be taken care by the gitops so gitops is a set of, uh, specific set of practices designed to manage kubernetes and similar products so not only kubernetes it can be any sort of container platforms like you know tanzu openshift rancher or you know rocket or any sort of uh, container platform okay so so gitops is like it can automate end to end right from application to infrastructure that's the uh, you know uh, in a nutshell devops is uh, gitops is uh, a tool uh, or a set of practices which can automate both application deployment and infrastructure um, uh, platforms as well so gitops takes the idea of the of git as a single source of truth okay and integrates the provisioning and change process for infrastructure version control so now i have told you right the version control uh, usually people think that the version control is uh, used to manage the application code that's right but you can also create uh, your infrastructure code also in the git repositories like how to create resources on a kubernetes platforms you can create those yaml files and you can put that in the uh, uh, git repository and you can integrate those things with the application so as soon as you deploy the application uh, it will pick up the infrastructure code from the github as well and it will integrate your application deployment with infrastructure provisioning and infrastructure operations as well so the purpose of gitops is to uh, remove the gap between the deployment and operations you know by automating or implementing the automation in both uh, deployment and uh, infrastructure uh, related activities okay now so gitops uh, you can change you can create a merge or pull request that can be reviewed by other developers before actually merging it so as i said right um, in the in the um, uh, uh, GitOps world, right? Uh, in the especially when you are using Git, right? You can pull the code, you can push the code, you can pull the code to your laptops and work offline. And once you are done with it, you can push that code to the Git Git uh, Hub, right? So 
once you upload that uh, to the git repositories as a separate you can merge those uh, updates and you can use that pull request to deploy an application okay so you this process was the best practices that were using in the software deployment uh, and by using the CI/CD pipeline it you can uh, the pipeline can deploy the application uh, taking the latest code from the get repositories okay now in github in github side uh, these merge requests are used to manage infrastructure changes okay and there are two different approaches you can use this CACD pipeline to implement this GitOps. One is push based approach. That is the pipeline is started and runs tools that make the changes in the platform. Changes can be triggered by a commit or a merge request. Okay, so what happens is let's say you have a code in the Git repository. Now what happens is whenever you update the code and whenever you merge and commit the code right the push approach of GitOps will pushes the code to the applications like, like you know uh, let's say i have a version 1.2 deployed in my kubernetes platform and on the git repository i have updated my uh, application to 1.3 let's say okay now as soon as I commit right the git will push the code to the pipeline automatically so no one has to trigger it the git will push that to the CACD pipeline like like the Jenkins or whatever is the pipeline and that will start the deployment of an application that is the push based approach so the github will push the code the latest code to the pipeline next one is pull based approach an agent watches the git repository for changes so whenever you make any changes right the agent keeps on watching and as soon as that agent identifies that there is a new version of code right it immediately pulls the code from the uh, repository and it deploys the uh, uh, new version of application using the CI/CD process so push based and pull based push based is pushes the code the git will pushes the code uh, to the underlying CACD pipeline. Pull based is the agent will constantly monitor the application code in the Git repository. Whenever there is a change in the code, the code will be deployed on the uh, uh, the platform, which contains the platform. So these are the two approaches that you can use in the GitOps. Okay. So now the GitOps framework, right? Uh, there are two examples for popular uh, GitOps framework that you can use for pull based approach. Those are Flux and Argo CD. So Argo CD is implemented as a Kubernetes controller and uh, you can use the uh, flux uh, is built with the GitOps tools uh, which has the set of APS to controls uh, APS and controllers that can be used to uh, uh, build a custom delivery platform. Okay, so again as I said right uh, you will have lots and lots of tools for every platform and every platform will have its own features and benefits. Uh, like as far as this uh, git operations are concerned you uh, you can use Argo CD or flux and you have these are two popular tools but there are a lot of tools in the market okay so based on the requirement and based on the business re business requirement you can choose any one of the uh, framework especially for the GitOps. it can be Argo CD flux or it can be XYZ it can be any software okay but the purpose of the GitOps is to pull the code and put that code in the CI/CD pipeline so that it can deploy the application. Okay. Now, so this is a high-level overview of how Argo CD architecture works. If you will have a CI/CD pipeline which is already built and running in your environment, and you will have a, a, a Kubernetes platform which is running it, and again, this Kubernetes platform can be an open, uh, can be an on-prem running on your on-prem or it can be a, any managed Kubernetes which runs on your uh, cloud platforms like Azure cloud and AWS. Okay, and whenever the developer merges the code or whenever uh, the, the, there is a change in the Git repository side. Right? So Git repositories will have a concept of webhooks that webhooks will trigger a alert and that webhook will send the request to the uh, APIs Kubernetes APIs and that APIs will talk to the uh, respective resources like schedulers uh, you know 
cube uh, cubelets and all those services and it will try to deploy the application so that is how so typically if you ask me developer doesn't have to log into the kubernetes platform no he can directly modify the code and whenever he merges the code it automatically deploys the application so developer really doesn't have to log into the kubernetes platform unless if he wants if he wants to check something then you can log in otherwise for deploying application he will not log into the kubernetes platform or because the pipeline is already configured and built so whenever he pushes the application code to the git repository using the webhooks the webhooks will trigger the redeployment so that's how uh, the argo cd or flux or any gitops tools are used to automate the uh, deployments so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concepts or if you want to dive deeper then we have something really really special for you we have our free class on docker and kubernetes certification to get you higher paying jobs and in this interactive session we will be learning about why learn containers that is dockers and kubernetes we'll be learning about the whole docker container architecture we'll be getting to know about some hands on demo we'll be getting to know the certifications regarding kubernetes cka cks and ckad and we do have q and a's along with a limited time gift so if you want to enroll for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash k8s02. And after that, you just have to click on book your free seat now. And after that, you just have to select an event date according to your availability, add your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of URL. You can add this URL to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.